Hello, hello, hello. Count Sake here, back with another Genshin Impact video. Today, I will be summoning for Chiori. You do not know how much I want to summon for this character. As, well, a Geo main, well, my, who, if you want to know, guess who my main is, I'm going to give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. If you said, if you said Ying Wong, well, I hope it was pretty obvious. Anyway, I very much loved Chiori's first appearance so much that I wanted to get her. On top of being Geo and a potential Geo support of some kind, it just really made a lot of sense for me to pull her. That's enough about that. And well, yeah, on this channel, we do rituals. As I say at the start of every single one of these summoning videos, I always do rituals because that's the way I do things here. I ain't just gonna go straight to wishing, because that's lame. Let's get started with the ritual. So, for the first part of the ritual, I think it's about time I mention my party. So, um, over here, we have our party, which is going to obviously be Chiori. Come home. So we have the Traveler, because the Traveler is wishing for Chiori. We have Kirara, because, well, her outfit was made by Chiori. Lynette, because, well... Her outfit's also made by Chiori, at least that's what implied in what's what's in that is what is implied in her demo. And of course, Navia, the one and only fabulous Navia. I mean, come on, look at her. Look at that outfit. It's made by Chiori as well. All these people have their outfits made by Chiori. I don't well, travelers here because it's wishing. For the second part of the ritual, we go ahead and well, whoops. Once Oh there was gosh. A glorious kingdom established <laughs> among the heavens. I pressed the wrong button. I pressed F4 when I meant to press F5. Well, I guess I'm watching this now. I know I can skip it, I just don't want to. Alright, there we go. Let's get out of that. Let me get to what I was actually trying to do. You know, this? Chiori's trial? No, I'm sorry if I'll sound a little discombobulated while doing this. It's because I don't really understand what I'm doing at first. It'll take time for me to really understand Chiori's kit. And, like, well, I probably need to just play play around as her differently. So, yeah. Well, of course, we have Ying Wong here because why it would, didn't we? But let's try and see if we can understand what's going on. Huh. Okay, that's interesting. Oh my gosh, I love her burst. Her burst looks so pretty. What the heck? Now, I won't be actually... I'm gonna try to use... Uh, I'm gonna use Chiori burst here to understand what the heck is going on. Um. Uh... Okay, hold on a second. I kind of just did not understand what was happening. So yeah, I am pretty satisfied with that. So let's, uh, I'll head out and finally leave the domain after trying to spend quite a while trying to understand what her, how her kit works. I, to be honest, I, the, the live stream to me did not explain it very well. <laughs> I did not understand a single thing what, what the heck, how the heck her stuff worked. So yeah, for the next part of the ritual, what we're going to do is... We're gonna go and beat up some treasure hoarders or something somewhere. Uh... Okay, so you guys have no idea how long it took for me to find this place. I don't know why I spent like maybe 30 minutes or so or 20. I don't know how long at this point. I've been just searching for a while. But apparently I was looking for some treasure hoarders. You know, the ones that Chiori beats up in her demo. And, well, it turns out it's probably this place. I think it's a pretty good guess as to where it could be. I'm not exactly sure because I still feel like there are some details missing. Like, I, I feel like I'm missing some parts of the landscape. But honestly, I cannot, for the life of me, find a place that has treasure hoarders and, well, has whatever the heck kind of landscape and geometry that we see with Jory. And it's kind of raining at the moment, so it's even harder to tell what's happening. Well, whatever the case is, 
this is the closest thing I can think of. And what are, and even if it is the wrong place, well, we're beating up some treasure orders. So, hello guys, how are you doing? Oh look, you're wet. It's perfect for Navia right here. Just perfect. You thought, you just thought that's the only thing. You just thought, you thought you could handle Navia. You thought you could handle, oh. Um, it's not raining anymore. Well, you thought you could handle Navia? Guess what? She get she's swinging her umbrella and shooting you with a freaking shotgun. I don't know what I'm saying at this point. <laughs> okay, so um, after destroying those guys, let's go beat up the other guys. Go, Navia. Let's go. Let's beat them up. They don't even stand a chance at all. Look at that. They're wet. They're literally wet. And now they're already gone. Yay! Okay, so we beat up the treasure hoarders. I think that should be good enough. Hopefully Chiori can appreciate that. And yes. So, let me go ahead and... I'm gonna go ahead and resonate with Geo. Hello, Hello, Zhongli, I mean Rex Lapis, um, thank you for healing Lynette, and, well, I'll resonate with Geo. So there we go, we got Geo Traveler, per my personal favorite of the Travelers so far. And with that, the, n the next one we're gonna do is good ol' Fortune Slip. Well, you know what's coming, you know what's coming. You know what's coming. We're gonna try our luck, pick up our cylinder, click, draw out our slip. Yep. All right. Then we'll talk to Ringo. Hello. I want to decipher the fortune slip. Give me that bamboo slip. Okay, sorry. I just love, I always love saying that so much. I always love saying that. So, submit and give. Well, let's see what we got. I'm gonna, let's hope it's something uh, nice. After all, we are um, preparing for a special day with Chiori. Chiori, hopefully. Well, then again, Chiori's so savage, I might as well just give up. I don't know, who knows. The savagery of Chiori. Oh gosh. <laughs> Great misfortune! A day spent feeling empty inside can lead to a profound sense of powerlessness. The problems you face are defying your attempts to solve them. This futile endeavor is wearing you down and making you ill. But do not be discouraged that everything is going downhill. Survive this difficult period, and one day you will achieve something great. Your lucky object for the day, Curly Lizard Tail. When faced with a potential danger, lizards will sacrifice their tails for survival. If you encounter emotions that you struggle to control, it may be best to cut something out of your life. Well, uh, wow, that was uh, horrible. <laughs> that, was, that was so bad. Uh, great misfortune, of course. All right, so we have to find a. We have to. Man, we're gonna ha let's uh. Let's hang it up. <laughs> we'll find our lizard tail somehow. Um, lizard tail. Conch. Okay. Um. Anyway, we have to find a lizard. Dear gosh, I don't even know where to find a lizard. To be honest, you just kind of find them. Lizards, where are you? Don't mind the hilly trolls. Uh, wow, that's a... We're getting ambushed. Lizard! Where'd he go? Oh my gosh! We got a lizard, and everything's after me. Go away. There's another lizard. Get it. Lizard tail. Alright. After all, I guess Diona does look for them. Alright, so with that, we've done our fortune slip shenanigans. Let's now head over to Inazuma, and we'll go ahead and cook up some nice, delicious Inazuma food for Chiori. 
for us, I'm going to go ahead and head over to the back over here and cook up some uh, dango or some. We'll, we'll, I don't know. We'll just look at some Inazuman foods and cook some up for her. I think that's really about all I'll, I'll pretty much cook for Chiori. That's a lot. That's a lot of stuff. Hopefully she doesn't mind it too much. But regardless, those are the stuff I decided to prepare for her. With that, I think it's about time we head back to Fontaine. So what I'm now going to do is proceed to do the... Well, it's not a liar cover. This time we are doing the, Zor the floral zither to do the cover for this one. And yeah, I think that's, I think the zither is honestly pretty underrated. It's like, oftentimes I hear thing covers in the lyre, but I think Shiori's uh, teaser song, which is the song I'll be uh, playing, is, sounds really nice in the zither. So yeah, I'd like to thank Animus Anime Piano for creating the notes for the Shiori's teaser song. I honestly only saw this today as I'm recording this, so I decided I'll go ahead and do it. So with that, um, I think that's about it. So let me get ahead and head on to the uh, Zither cover. All right, so hopefully that was good enough for Chiori because my gosh, I'm surprised I was able to actually pretty much get that good at it 
in a single within a few hours because that that honestly took a lot of practice it really did take a lot of practice to to do it with that let me talk about what i am going to expect from the banners what i want so for the longest time i've really wanted goro constellations but i never really got any for him so let me find goro he should be somewhere over here there he is goro i don't have any constellations for this guy and I'm a Geo main. Yunjin, I have one constellation, and of course there's Dory. I please, Coil. I would like to at least get some constellations for Goro. I have Dory. I do have quite a I do have three constellations on Dory, but please, I want Goro constellations. Goro or Yunjin constellations. Those are the two I want. I feel like I'm pretty satisfied with my Dory, so I don't feel like I want anything else. Now if I was to lose the 50-50, there are only two characters that I haven't gotten from losing the 50-50, and that's Tainari and Dehya. I'm okay with either of them. Right now, I'm more leaning towards Tainari. I would really like to get Tainari, but I wouldn't mind getting Dehya either. I really want to, I just really want to get both of these people, oh my gosh. Hopefully, 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 but who knows? Or actually, I don't know. <laughs> I want to win the 50-50 because I do genuinely want to save up on materials, you know? I mean, just look at her. She's so beautiful. Anyway, <laughs> enough about that. I'm, I'm going to stop teasing you people. I'm going to actually, um, you know, get started with this. So first of all, I'm going to put out the music. I'll be playing uh, Team B's uh, cover or version of Giori's uh, demo song. All right, now, enough about that. <laughs> Again, this is all part of the ritual. It's about time that I finally go ahead and um, purchase stuff, my Primal Gems. So basically, I like to purchase the amount of intertwined fates based on hard pity. So what I'm going to do is uh, 90 minus 39, which is the number I own. And I would subtract by my pity, but that's zero. So yeah, so 90 minus 39, what is it? That's going to be 41. No, that's not that. No, wait. No, 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 no. I can do math. I swear. It's 51. My gosh, I am stupid. Okay. <laughs> I, this is what I try. This, this is what happens when I try to do mental math. It's 51. Nine, 90 minus 39 is 51. <laughs> okay. So let's get 51 intertwined fates. There we go. 51. Let's see if my math was right. There we go, 90. All right. Wow, there goes about a thousand primogems, but it's okay. We'll we'll recuperate, slowly save up. All right. So let's get start with. Let's finally start wishing. So um, we're at zero pity. The way I like to do things on this channel is that I'll do single wishes until 30 pity. And then once I hit 30 pity, I'll start doing 10 pulls all the way up until 70 pity, and from 70 pity and beyond, I do single pulls. That's just how I do things on this channel. Not even on the channel, I do it off, off video for the characters I didn't even record videos for, like Ganyu and Yellen. I did the same exact thing, it's just how I like to wish. It's just how I like to do it. So, sorry if it makes the video longer, it's just my way of doing things. So we're at 3 pity at the moment. Well, I wonder who our first four star is going to be. So we're at three. So three. Next one, four. Going to be our first four star. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. That's four. And next will be five. Oh, we have our first four star. So who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Yunjin! Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with you getting Yunjin constellations. But I would like some Goro constellations, you know? Just uh, just some Goro constellations, please. Goro constellations, please, please, please. Anyway. <laughs> six, uh, we're on six pity. Okay, seven pity. Eight pity. Sorry, there's a lot of this is just gonna be a lot of counting. That's just how it is for me. Eight. Nine. We'll be hitting ten soon. Alright, so 
9 and 10. Okay, our chances are still 0 0.06, 0 .0, yeah, 0 0.06 if I'm not mistaken. That's That should be the probability. If you want to actually know a bit more about the probabilities of, um, of the understand the probabilities of five star, obtaining a five star, um, yeah, I go over this 0.6%. Yeah, this is, I'm still at the 0.6%. So, yeah, anyway, how about that? Um, we're at 10 pity. We're going to go to 11. You can watch my video about that. I talk about it. I explain it in pretty, in a lot of detail, actually. Maybe a bit more detail than I needed to, but that's just how I like to do the videos on my channel. Bit, very educational style. Very, I like to put a lot of detail. So, yeah, you can go ahead and check out those videos if you're interested. So, that's 12, 13. So it looks like we're going to be hitting the heart pity for the 4-star. Um, this should be, uh, what is it? 14. Right? It's 14, right? Oh yeah, okay, so wait. Yeah, 14, then 15. Yeah, 15 pity. There we go. Lost track? Yep, hit heart pity on that one. 15? And we got a Dory! That's all right. I mean, I would have liked to have, I don't know, a coral. Anyway, <laughs> 16. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Eighteen. 19 and the next one will be 20 whoops uh 20 20 there we go almost last 10 single pulls and then we'll be heading to the 10 pulls all right 10 wishes are single so we're now at 21 22 23. I honestly was thinking I should probably make sure I check I'm on the correct banner. <laughs> 24. Okay, early 4 star. Another Dory. Okay. 25. Okay. Stay hydrated, but stay hydrated, by the way. Okay, 26. All right, 27, almost there. 28. 29. 30. Okay, there we go. We'll head on to, we'll now be going into the 10 pulls, 10 wishes. All right, so let's head to 40 pity. See what we're gonna get. What? Okay, okay, okay. That's 31. 32. 33. 34. 35, 36 is a cutting, 36, okay, okay, 36, well, it's an early 4, it's an early 5 star, I can, I can go with that, cutting is the character I just get for whenever I lose a 50-50, well, and then we'll head back to 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. Uh, okay, four. Four. Yeah, so we're currently at four pity at the moment. Oh boy. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. All right. That's just how it be sometimes, but at least it's an early. It's an early. It's an early um, 
what's it called? It's I cut it. Cutting came at like a low pity, so I can't really complain that much. All right. So let's do this again. We'll do the song and dance all over again. So this time we're gonna do is we're gonna do 90 minus how many inch wine baits? Which uh, 90 minus 50 minus four. So we, we specifically need to buy 36. What a coincidence. I, I, okay, well, I guess it makes sense because I literally spent that many intertwined fates and whatnot, or whatever, <laughs> it's, it's funny. So 36 plus, uh, yeah, that should be right. So that's going to be, let me indicate this in a spreadsheet because that's how I do it. We'll gain 36 and we'll spend another 5,760. These things really drain out quickly, don't they? All right, there we go. More probably. Uh, I did buy the one. Yes, I did buy the correct one. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So we spend 40 and find fates. And well, let's go ahead and resume. Well, again, we're doing this all over again with single pulls. Again, that's just how I like to do it. That's just how I like to do it. So we're back at five pity. So, and, and this is going to be five pity. I'm just writing things in a spreadsheet. That way I don't. We get lost, so five pity. Then we'll go uh, six. Seven. Okay, four star. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Eight. I am Chiori, the owner of Chioria Boutique. Feel free to find me if you'd like to commission any tailor-made outfits. As for any other requests, it all depends on whether you have enough to offer in exchange. <laughs> Just the rules of the business. You scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. Also, smoking, drinking, and causing a ruckus are all strictly prohibited within the boutique. That whole the customer is king concept doesn't fly here. And even when royalty does come into the shop, if they don't adhere to the rules, they'll find themselves being tossed out and kissing the pavement just like anyone else. What? Eight pity? What? Uh, 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 <laughs> what is with my luck? I had great misfortune, and I st- I don't know, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. Seriously. Man! I will very much take getting Chiori at 8 pity. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I mean, if you want to really be those type of people who include it from their, even if they lost the 50-50, then it's technically 44. But for me, it got, it's at 8 pity. 8 pity. What the heck? <laughs> oh my gosh. What? No way, man. There's no way. Man, Chiori, Chiori. Love you, Chiori. Oh my gosh, look at you, how gorgeous you are. Okay, let me go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and bring back the music here. And let's go ahead and take a look at Chiori over here. So, um, well, we had our cast here, and well, Chiori came home. Why not? We'll, um, I guess, excuse me, we'll take Chiori, put her over here, take a look at her, I don't, or took a look at her animation, and Welcome it looks to quite Chiori nice. Boutique. Look at her! Just look at her! <laughs> okay. 
Look at her. Come on, man. You can't resist this. Look at how beautiful she is. All right. So, yeah. Let's take a look at our spoils. We didn't get too much. Um, I mean, we got Chiori. Obviously that. But I'm more of referring to other things like... The, um, I'm referring to what else we got other than Chiori. We got another Kurtzing Constellations, which is the most I have most most constellations of any five star I have. Um, so yeah, Kurtzing Constellation three. So let's activate it. There we go. All right. Next, we'll we have Yunjin. Yunjin is now Constellation two, I believe. Yes, C two indicate that in my spreadsheet there we go then lastly we have dory is dory is dory c5 or c6 i don't honestly know we'll see she is c6 holy crap to dory and i'm still without a single coro constellation but i will not be wishing any more than this i am pretty satisfied with what i have so here we go C4, C5, and last but not least, C6. I can I can actually get behind this stuff. So yeah, anyway. Um we have Chiori over here. Good look. Look at that smile. <laughs> look at that smile. Come on, you can't resist that. Look at that smile. Alright. So yeah. Those are my Chiori summons. And hopefully you, you, my ritual will work out for you as well. That's really about it for now, so thanks for watching and hope you've enjoyed.